guys, the Gemster here. So today we have a pretty cool custom. Well, um, I don't know if you would consider it a custom, but maybe improved. So I had to use the demo button from this, or the try me button for the claw machine over here. So I wanted to figure out a way to make it so I wouldn't need a try me button coming out. And I made the whole thing battery operated because if you take, hold on, I'll just let me get it. Real. If you take this out of the little pouch over here, you wouldn't see this on yours. This is what I did to mine. So there would be paper covering this whole thing. That you heard me, paper. Freaking Jemmy put paper over this battery compartment here. So what I did was I took these little contacts here out of a snowflake spinner base and I put them in wired it up took the try me button wires which are which you can also plug an original one into here tapped it out going into here into a try me button in the foot like the original version of this from years ago so we'll put this back on now the head does move slightly slower because it's only six volts I know that's the first thing you're going to say in the comments, why does it move so slow? Move so slow because this takes 9 volts and it's only 6. What I'm guessing is, this is from one of their Halloween props, and they wanted to save money by just putting paper over it and making believe it wasn't there. I couldn't believe that when I saw it. I was like, this is fucking paper. So, the button is right here, and watch, no wires, nothing plugged in, I removed the jack which was right there you could tell because it says the amount of voltage and amps going in so nothing plugged into this just going straight into the dog so watch I just love holiday hugs see what's well, perfect So yeah, it was pretty hard getting this paper off. Um, I, I didn't end up using the battery cover that came with it that was on there. There was a battery cover on there, but like I said, there was no contact. So the batteries would just sit there and do nothing. So uh, I couldn't use the other one because it was covered in paper and I couldn't get it off. This took me like 30 minutes to get all the paper off here. They fucking glued it. Glued it. And when I was taking it off, a little piece cracked under there. That's why I put these on there. Uh-oh. See? Yeah, there it is. I didn't want to see it, so I just left it like that. I'll put that back on. So, so here's an, uh, the previous product, speaker placement. Speakers in here, so there's nothing under here. It's just a circuit board, and fucking everything is glued. I'm sorry for my language, but I paid 80 bucks for this. And this thing is like one of the cheapest things I've ever seen. Besides, I forget the other cheap thing Jemmy made. When I opened up the, the snowflake spinner, it was like covered in glue also. So I guess how they're doing that that's how they're doing it now. Just freaking glue everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I, I ran out of ideas for customs, so just shoot me an idea and maybe I'll do it. Um... I'll give you a cool glimpse of the claw machine. A, a big review is coming out. It's gonna I'm gonna work really hard on this video. So here's a short little glimpse of what I did to it. Looks completely different now. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming. Thanks for watching.